and welcome to Key Can Eat. And today I am doing a review on Burt's Meat Market. Let me tell you what I got. I got a small peach cobbler. Everything is small. A small um, broccoli rice and cheese and a small beef tip with no rice. Now, it's nothing new. It's been there for a while. I like to stay with the basics, so I've never tried either one of these from that particular market. Let's go ahead and dig into it. And since we're already in a small thing, I have a small water. <laughs> I actually thought about getting uh, some juice or soda, but I was like, I don't know if I really want to mix it. Bad enough, I'm already going to mix everything. Okay. And it's room temperature. I don't like cold water. Yeah, unless it's like already on ice, then it's okay. But anywho, let's go ahead and move forward. And yes, y'all, I'm going to use the same spoon because my food, my mouth, okay? <laughs> the song of the day is going to be Mona Lisa by Lil Wayne, which was on his most recent album. And I like that song, the beat, the everything. That song is definitely number one. So I think I'm going to go ahead and start with the rice first. If you're new, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. So it's really yellow. I can tell that they don't, they barely put the broccoli in there, but let me let y'all look. Can you see it? I hope you can. There, that should be better. So let's give it a taste. All I did was open it and set it up here. I didn't add anything to it at all. It's really cheesy, so I like that part. Oh, I guess it does have enough uh, broccoli in it. It's just so cheesy that I could barely see it. And then, too, I wear glasses. <laughs> mm. Okay. Okay, y'all. Mm -hmm -hmm. So, let me get y'all the prices. Because they had to weigh everything. And the peach cobbler was $3.29. The broccoli rice and cheese was $3.24. So, it should be around the same. And the beef tip was $4.95. So, the meat, of course, is always higher. And then it's beef. So, you know they was going to charge me. Mm -mm -mm. I also want to give y'all a little story time today as well. <laughs> hmm. And just some real quick. It's basically for me telling y'all about the jobs that I've had. Or recent jobs that I've had. So. My last three jobs were a call center. And of course. If you're going to go to another call center. It needs to be more money. And more money equals more work. This beat tip is tender. Mmm. Okay. I think <laughs> I think this would really go well on some mashed potatoes. Mm hmm Okay. Let me let y'all see. You see it? Do you see it? Mm-hmm. Okay. 
Now, two of the centers that I worked at were vendors. So, basically, we didn't get paid the same amount that we would have got paid if we worked for the actual company itself. But once I learned that, my last job was the actual company itself. And it paid. So, I knew. But, yo. Y'all, I was so young. <laughs> I was so young and careless. People. Don't call a call center complaining. If you have an issue, state what's wrong. Let them help you. And if they can't, there's always someone above them. And you never call automatically one to speak with a supervisor because the agents, uh, their job or first priority is to try to resolve the issue themselves. So don't call on 30. That is so rude. Man. You call me with an attitude, guess what I did? <laughs> disconnected that call. I sure did. I would disconnect that call with the quickness. Oh, man, don't let me tell you. Let me put you on hold. I'm putting you on hold. I already got your issue resolved. Or I already know what to do, and it's not going to take that long. I'm putting you on hold so either I can eat or I can continue to listen to music or talk to my friend. <laughs> and that's how it works. Mm-hmm. Mm. And, and then sometimes the calls are like back to back. And when they're back to back, they consider it to be high call volume. Man, if you have been waiting, <laughs> what you want to do when someone finally answers is you want to go ahead and state state your issue again. Y'all, I used to get these calls. And if you have been waiting a while, then that means that I, my calls have been back to back. I haven't had a break. I could barely breathe. And the only way that I probably could breathe was to probably put somebody on hold. Oh, excuse me. Y'all, them people that call me. And they mad at me. Because they have had to wait an hour and 30 minutes to two hours. Yo. I wasn't the one. You call me complaining, guess what I'm going to do? Make you wait again? I surely did. It's so wrong. So don't do that, y'all. Don't do it, but... Mm -mm. My tolerance is at a zero. Mm -mm -mm. This was like a mini meal itself. I would probably get this again. No, you know what? I would get it separate. With this, I would either get a... It could probably go good with chicken or like a pork chop. Maybe like a fried pork chop or bake. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No. So, I didn't used to be no good at all. <laughs> Let me tell you how I did it. You don't just cut the person off and hang up in their face. It's obvious. You can definitely get terminated that way. <coughs> what you do is... What you do is... You talk to them. You talk like, oh, it's okay. But you have to make sure it's noise in the background. And I love when they wasn't home. 
How are you home, not home, and try to tell me about a bill or something that you don't have in front of you or about um, a services that's supposed to have an issue, but you're not there to tell me what it's doing? If that went about dumb, I'm telling you. So you wait until you can find like weak spots. Y'all, I had names for everything. So I called them weak spots. And if I spotted a weak spot, oh man, I'll go ahead and do my, my normal greeting and talk to you like as if I really care. Oh yes, no problem. I'd be more than happy to. And as I'm talking, I will hit the release button. That's how you get away with it. Because at the end of the day, if they were to listen to the call, they would hear that you were talking to them and the call dropped. Mm-hmm. Y'all, I used to be really good at that. <laughs> not saying it was a good thing to do because it's not. It's not at all. So if you work at a center, don't do as I did. Mm -mm. And if you're at a vendor, and by vendor, I mean, say for instance, you're working for, what's a major company? Mm. Say for instance, you're working for um, Sprint or Verizon, but you're taking, you're taking their calls, but you work for a company called Management. Meaning that they're going to get the bulk of the money and they're only going to pay you a portion versus if you were to actually work for the company itself, like Verizon or Sprint, where you'll get the big money. Because you may make minimum wage or maybe $8 or $9. Um, and this is just Texas wage. I don't know. Um, in Texas versus working for the company itself in Texas and making like, 15 to 18 dollars you feel that's like a huge difference if you think about it right exactly this was good it was so cheesy you know i wonder if they use yellow rice instead of white rice because i feel like with white rice i still should have seen some white but i'm not complaining it was good mm -hmm. it was definitely good and the meat, y'all know how, y'all already know how I am with meat, so that'll be for later. Mm -hmm. For later, I could just leave that right there. And now the peach cobbler, let me let y'all get a closer look. It looks okay. I'm just going to say it looks okay. I prefer a lot of juice and a lot of peaches over the crust. And there was a man there. He wanted a lot of the crust. And I was like, we could eat peach cobbler good together because I just want the juice and the crust. And he just wanted a lot of the crust and some juice. Mm. It has that cinnamon taste, but you know the dough, uh, what is it, the dumplings that they put? For one, it's thick, so I definitely could use more juice. The top crust is okay. And it's still warm because it was a fresh pan. Yeah, it's the dough. The dough that they use, I'm not sure if they like cut the dough up. Well, they have to cut it up and put it in the middle or if it's at the bottom, but it's too much. That's why I say I always wanted to try it, but... Y'all look at, see, this is what I mean. 
This is straight dough. I don't like that. Or dumpling. My mom, she loves that. Not key, y'all. Not key. I don't like that. At all. Mm. Y'all, that's it for that because... Mm -mm. So... Overall, you could tell which one my favorite was, which was the broccoli, cheese, and rice. <clears throat> Ergo, it's empty. And then the beef tips are really tender. I really like this. It's just that y'all know how I am with meat. And this, more juice. <laughs> so, I won't be getting that again. It did have the... It had the taste. It was a light flavor. I could have definitely used more nutmeg in it, more peaches, more juice. Um, the dough, I guess it's too thick. They need to, um, if they roll it, they need to make it a little bit thinner. And if they purchase it, they need to uh, cut it smaller. I knew to get everything small, but since it was going to be a review because I didn't want to get it too big and then waste my money because for those that know me, they know that if I don't like something, it's going down the drain. Unless somebody tell me, hey, I want it. Let me try it. Bye-bye. I don't have time to play with food. But yeah, that was good. This water actually hit the spot. So this was just a review. Y'all are going to see me in this exact same outfit once again because I have another video for y'all. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. We are cousins. That's what I'm going to call y'all cousins. We are cousins and we are here and this is like a cookout. We always vibing. We're vibing, right? Right? <laughs> Thank y'all so much for y'all time and vibing with Key. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share this video with anybody and everybody. I'm Key. I'm out. Bye, y'all.